Pierre Poilly have specifically said that, that children born biologically male should be banned from female washrooms, changing rooms, sports. Uh, do you think your government has done enough to uh, protect trans rights? I think Mr. Polyev and politicians like him are choosing to attack some of the most vulnerable people in our society as a way of deflecting from the fact that they're very good at creating division and anger and creating political toxicity and driving wedge issues, but so far they have been terrible at putting forward any concrete solutions for the big problems that people, that all Canadians are facing in their daily lives. They're quick with slogans and buzzwords and culture wars, but they're not doing the work of actually rolling up their sleeves and delivering. 330 housing units here, delivered next year, uh, this summer, including over 60% of them deeply uh, 60% of them affordable. Billions of dollars in investment in childcare that provinces like Alberta are not delivering properly to Albertan families because of ideology. We're stepping up on the fight against climate change to draw in global investment. Here in Alberta, for years, I've been pointing out that Alberta is the number one place in the country for green investments, for investments into renewables, for innovation in the future of how we're going to power our country and our world in a net zero economy. And what does the Alberta government do? Oh, it puts a pause on renewables. I was talking to the Alberta Business Council just last fall who were up in arms about it, rightly, because what kind of signal does that send to investors? What kind of signal does that send to Albertans who know that providing energy in a net zero world will provide incredible jobs for Albertans? If you work in construction, if you work uh, in the oil sector, you can also work in the hydrogen sector. You can work in the nuclear sector. You can work uh, in the carbon capture utilization and storage. These are good, skilled jobs that Albertans are already doing that they will be able to do as long as we make sure the capital is flowing in those areas. But these are all real issues with real solutions that we're working on. And people like Pierre Polyev would rather pick a fight with trans kids. That's not leadership. And that's not a game I'm going to play with them. Yes, we're going to make sure we're doing everything we can to protect vulnerable people in this country, because that's what Canadians expect. But I'm not going to get dragged into culture wars about this, when the fact is Canadians expect their governments to roll up their sleeves and deliver for them, and that's what we're doing. I'll ask it again, sir. What what can or what is your government doing to protect the rights of trans kids now and in the future? I was uh, sitting down with a number of uh, doctors from the Canadian Medical Association. Uh, I think one of the things we should all do in difficult issues is rely on experts, rely on, on science, on researchers, on people who actually work uh, with vulnerable kids people who sit down with families to talk through extremely difficult decisions and rely on them to depoliticize issues and look at what is in the best interest of Canadians, of communities, of individuals. Relying on our service and health professionals to make decisions about how to best protect people is, I think, something that this government will always stand for and highlight that more governments should be doing rather than picking fights with vulnerable people.